Candor reactor is uh, really a big box that makes uh, boils water. And what you have to do is get water in and water out. The water goes in one side uh, cold, it runs over the uranium fuel rods, heats up and comes out the other side and makes steam. And the problem with, with this concept is you cannot afford to lose coolant for even a second because the fuel will heat up so quickly it can catch fire. The reactor has a tendency to leak. Um, it just can spontaneously spring a leak. And, you know, the, the last thing, you, you see cars pulled over on the highway with the radiator steaming and you go, oh, that car's in trouble. Well, that's, you wouldn't want a nuclear reactor doing the same thing, but basically that's what they do. They spring leaks. It's 40 years old and uh, it was almost built before um, computers were commonplace. Well, in 2009, OPG, under, I think, the um, pressure from the Ontario Energy Board, was asked to do a benchmarking study of its reactors compared to um, American reactors. And this was uh, in the form of what's called the Scott Madden Report, which is available on the internet. And it's very interesting reading because this independent assessment concluded that uh, the can-do reactors, and in particular, the ones at Pickering, are of the 20 or so reactors they looked at, the worst, by far the worst. They, they had the worst capacity factors, they had the highest cost of production, and basically, when they're compared to other um, reactor technologies, uh, even though OPG likes to say they're the best in the world, this independent study showed that they are in fact the worst. The, the worst case accident for a can-do would be a Chernobyl or a Fukushima, which is where you have total loss of coolant and the fuel overheats very rapidly, catches fire and potentially explodes, and a huge cloud of radioactive debris is scattered um, over a 50 mile radius. And Within that cloud, there would be um, alpha particles, uh, plutonium dust. The really bad um, player is radioiodine um, because it causes thyroid cancer, uh, especially in children. And uh, tritium could cause leukemia. Um, and the, um, the scary thing about, about these radioisotopes is there's like an induction period. You don't get exposed one day and wake up and you've got thyroid cancer the next day. You may have, a, have it five years down the road. So you might think you were, you were okay, but then five years later, one of your children's got thyroid cancer and you don't know why. Well, it could be because they were rained on by radioiodine from an accident. These, these are not uh, crazy hypothetical uh, examples because these things have really happened in Chernobyl and in Fukushima. There are accidents they haven't even thought about that could happen uh, when so a certain component fails. I mean, no one predicted the uh, space shuttle accidents, no one predicted the Concorde accident. Well, once it happened, it was obvious. Oh, that was an accident waiting to happen. And that's what I'm afraid of with Pickering. We've been lucky so far but we've had a few near misses, the, the, the main one being the, um, in uh, 1983, uh, the fuel channel rupture in Unit 2. And I think we got lucky there because they actually scrambled to get the coolant back into the reactor. They pumped it um, from the floor back into the re reactor in panic mode. And they don't tell you that. They don't tell you how close they came to having a full meltdown. It's taken all these years for uh, OPG to finally agree to give uh, potassium iodide tablets to people living near Pickering. The power that comes out of Pickering could be replaced by other sources. Um, we seem to have a surplus of electricity right now. Plus, there is the option of buying power from Quebec, which I think is just a matter of, um, you know, Ontario's pride that we don't want to have to go to Quebec and say, hey, can we buy some 
elect electricity from you guys. We've always wanted to be self-sufficient, uh, but I think we have to get over that. And uh, so I don't think the world's going to end because we, we shut down Pickering.